Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Jesse Vargas could be the return opponent for Keith Thurman. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit that bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, this is an Ego Rumor Mill. Nothing set in stone, just like the title suggests. A rumor. I will keep you guys updated. They're saying that it looks like in April likely april 14th at the barclay center keith one time thurman you better not duck me thun could face off against jesse vargas again this is not finalized this is something they're negotiating and it's an industry rumor at the moment until contracts are signed and the ink is dried i want to give my thoughts on this particular fight and i don't have too much to say about it i think it's a it's a rightful fight for keith thurman he had two tough fights back to back. Got to give him credit for that. Sean Porter, and that was a fight of the year type. And then he also fought Danny Garcia next, right? So that being said, he announced he had some kind of elbow spurs or elbow injury that required surgery. Then he got married in Nepal. He was street boxing some kind of way, even though he was coming off this surgery. And bottom line is he hasn't fought since March 2017. So by the time April rolls out, he'll have been out of the ring at least a year. So I don't have a problem because I am realistic with Keith Thurman, all things considered, coming back off an of injury. You got to see how that works and coming off a year plus layoff if it happens April 14th to fight a guy like Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas, we know his wins. We know his losses. I think Khabib Arla Verdiev really beat him, but they gave him the win. Uh, Pacquiao obviously beat him. Bradley obviously beat him, but he did give Bradley that scare in the 12th round. So Jesse Vargas, is he's a fighter that you got to bring your A game each time. If you don't, then um, if you overlook him or underestimate him, you could run into problems. But Keith Thurman should definitely be the favorite. He's he's the bigger. Uh, that might be equivalent in terms of height or so. But he's the, he's the bigger puncher at welterweight. More devastating wins at welterweight, stuff like that better name wins at welterweight he has two belts but like i said the timing is perfect the timing is perfect because he's coming off a long layoff to me maybe you could infer that he's lost some hunger because he used to run up on guys in press conferences like when paulie malinaji was champion he better not duck me thun right and that and that he had the fire behind him now when errol spence jr is on his line he seems like oh the fight could happen maybe in 2019. We're he's not higher my priority. We're not looking. You know what I mean? So again, fighting guy like Jesse Vargas, you Jesse Vargas and Adrian Granados, fighters like that, you you still have to prepare for them because they're not looking to lay down. And just because Pacquiao beat him, that doesn't automatically give credit. But I will say this: the fact that Pacquiao beat him, it's um, stylistically favors Keith Thurman. Not saying Keith Thurman fights exactly like Pacquiao because they don't but they both have a lot of um, foot speed when they want to use it, a lot of in and out movement. I would say Keith Thurman at this juncture probably puts together harder punches. I think he really discouraged Danny Garcia in round one, which set an early tone in the Thurman Garcia fight. So Jesse Vargas is gonna have to watch out for that. But the good thing is Jesse Vargas is, like I said, he's a veteran. He was with Mayweather Promotions, was with top rank. Now he has this deal with Al Heyman. He just had to win over Aaron Herrera and he knocked him down so that that ended his dry spell of a, a long layoff so very similar to Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz another fight they're trying to put the month before this in March at the Barclays Showtime is getting busy Al Heyman premier boxing champ what about all this the demise of PBC and fighters need promoters and all this shit if if this is the calendar they're putting together some good fights I'm already hearing about Danny Garcia Brandon Rios whether you rate that highly again same situation Garcia ain't fought since March and you know I mean he's probably looking to bounce back off of a loss with not a Errol Spence Jr. type so again I'm realistic um, I don't have a problem with these fights however I do want to see Keith Thurman if victorious unify 
go after Errol Spence. He's putting the pressure to you. He's on every interview, breakfast club, sway, internet, any kind of forum he has. He's saying he wants to fight you. So that's what the champion should do. I have no problem with Keith Thurman off of a layoff coming back and trying to, you know what I mean, test some things out. And like I said, Jesse Vargas is a good opponent. To my knowledge, I can't think of a time where Jesse Vargas actually got stopped. Pacquiao didn't stop him. And also Brandon, I mean, not Brandon, um, Josecito Lopez, Tim Bradley, Khabib, Oleg Radiv, none of these guys stopped him. So if, in fact, Keith Thurman could stop him, that would be a big statement coming off a long layoff. If he can beat him convincingly, same thing. Because, like I said, Jesse Vargas, he's not going to go easily, no matter where you rank him. So I think this is a um, should be a fan-friendly fight. Keith Thurman should be the favorite, but you can't count out a guy like Jesse Vargas. Another thing with Jesse Vargas to me is I think he, when he's up against better competition, I think his performances are probably better. Like, he, he had that miracle moment in the Tim Bradley fight. Not really in the Pacquiao fight, but Pacquiao's... Pacquiao, Pacquiao. So, I don't know. I, I just would say he's he knows he's not fearful. That's for damn sure. Because before Golovkin beat Kell Brook, Jesse Vargas was down to fight Kell Brook. This is when he was undefeated. So, I and I know people that sparred Jesse Vargas, and they said he's a dog in there. So, um, take it for what you want. That looks like it might be Keith Thurman's return fight, which is no surprise to me. You even heard Jesse Vargas calling out. Keith Thurman and Errol Spence after so looks like he may get one of the two people he's called out in recent memory drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego son so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing.